Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shay. Nice to have you. Today we are going to be doing a get ready with me video and I am going to be playing with a palette I have not yet played with. It is from Morphe. It is the Hotspot palette, the 35H. So this is what it looks like. Um, a lot of bright fun colors and as you can see I chose to do the blue side of the palette. So just kind of played around with it, you know. Saw what happened. I had no actual game plan, but this is how it turned out, and I actually really like it. So tonight, my parents and Michael and I are actually going to a drag show that my sister is in. So, sorry, Lacey's right down here with me. But yeah, so I thought doing a little bit of more of a colorful look would work well. Don't know what I'm doing. But if you guys want to see how I got my makeup, then just keep watching. And if you like it, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, hit the little notification bell, and uh, yeah, let me know what else you guys want to see, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Alright, right now, in the video. Okay, let's go. So, first things first, we're going to spritz a little bit of Smashbox Primer Water. For eyeshadow, I picked out... Um, this Morphe, it is the, what is it, Hotspot 35H palette. This is what the palette looks like if you've never seen it before. And, um, yeah, we're going to be playing around with it. I'm thinking I'm going to stick more to this side of the palette using, like, the blues and the aqua and things like that. But, I don't know, we're just going to dive in and kind of see what happens. For primer, I'm going to go ahead and use the NARS Smudge Base, what is it, Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Um, this is the one that I have been using lately. My favorite is the Smashbox 24 Hour one. Um, I talked about that in the empties video that I just uploaded. If you guys have not seen that, you should totally go check it out after this because those are the best videos to like actually hear about a product as far as reviews go, only because the person has literally used an entire, like, you know, tube or whatever it is of the product. Starting off, I am going to go ahead down this row right here, these neutral colors. First things first, I'm going to use this one right here just as that base color, and then I'm going to go down here to that more, like, cooler toned um, brown and use that throughout my crease. So now I'm just going in with this, uh, like I said, second shade down. Let me see if I can like read these. So the first, well, yeah, the first one was Siesta. The second one is called Shady Behavior. I might end up just keeping that plastic thing, which I know I feel like most people just throw it away, but this way, you know, we can end up uh, like being able to reference names down the road if I film with this again, which if you guys want me to, I totally can. I'm going in with Ocean Drive right now. Um, Gonna just take this. We shall see how this look turns out. But like I said, like if it ends up looking a little crazy, I'm literally going to a drag show tonight. So I figured it's fine. It's fine. I just have been kind of in the mood to play more with color lately versus just sticking to neutral shades. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Like <sighs> neutrals are my go-to, but I want to just start kind of branching out, getting out of my comfort zone. Um, Cause I used to do like fun looks mm -hmm. a lot. I would wear, that would be lacy. I would wear, you know, like bright lip colors. And like, that's what I was known for when I was at Sephora. But of course you get an office job, you start getting lazy cause you don't have to wear makeup every day. And that's what I did. So now that I'm like getting more back into the beauty realm, um, starting to kind of take on clients to do freelancing and everything again, I think that I will end up getting to play a little bit more with the makeup stuffs. Stuffs. So, um, yeah. Going into, what is it, Ocean Drive? No, that's what I just used. That was that matte teal. I'm going to go into the one right next to it, Pool Floaty, and put that on my lid. That's pretty. With this one, I kind of feel like I might have to go in with my finger or maybe use it wet. 
we shall see. It's pretty though. I really like that first color, that aqua shade. So one little like tip or trick or whatever that I was telling all of my clients before was if you if you tend to get um, that like line of blank space between your lashes and your lid and you tend to not like to wear like liner, if you wear a liner, it really doesn't matter, you're going to cover it. But if you don't and you just hate having that little like gap, turn your brush upside down and really just tap it to your lash line and then you don't have the gap. It's gone. Boom. Yep. Shady end trick of the day. So I'm actually going to dip into the color right below the um, color pull floaty into reflection. And just because that's kind of an in-between color between pull floaty and singled out. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to take this. Ooh. I like that. I'm going to put this kind of in the middle of my lid. And then I'm going to take that singled out color, that navy kind of pearl shade. And I'm going to put that on my outer corner. We got a little fog going on. But I always tend to do my eyeshadow first. So I don't mind that. Like I have absolutely no problem if there's fallout with shadows because it gets cleaned up anyway. And you never know. Now I'm going to go in with this little baby like smudger. Not smudger. I don't know definer brush. This is from Smashbox. This is old. Holy crap. I literally look like I got punched right here. That's okay. And I'm going to go in with that wave maker shade, which is this one right down here. So I'm going to add this a little bit to the crease, focusing more on the outer part. I have a feeling I'm going to need to go back in and brighten again. Um, things are just looking to get a little bit blended away, but that's okay. All right, so I have no idea where it cut off from. I looked up and it said maybe recording has stopped automatically. But what I was saying, the only thing I don't have in this palette is like a really light highlight shade for me. Um, the one that I use as an all over would probably work if you're like a medium to skin tone as your highlight. But not for me, because I'm pale. So I'm just going to grab a light shade here out of the Kat Von D um, Shade and Light Eye Palette. Not a huge deal. That's what happens when you're pale. You have to dip into other palettes to get stuff like this. All right. Like I said, this is why we do eyeshadow first. Because I can now just wipe up all this mess, good as new, and do my face makeup. And you would have never known. Boom, boom some of my hangover primer all right so for foundation we are going to play scientists and mix some stuff I have this Lancome Tony doll um, this is in the color 110 ivory C it's a little bit too cool for me though um, I have this one the Revlon photo ready candid foundation in 120 which is just like a hair too golden for me i'm gonna go ahead and spray my sponge with my primer water i always do that whether i'm using like a beauty blender kind of thing or i'm using just one of these like uh disposable sponges i have a feeling actually this might work maybe the thing with the um photo ready is it kind of have to work quickly. I probably should have done one side and then the other. Um, I have only used this foundation once. I don't know what this was. One time. Um, yeah. So we're going to test it out again. But I just wanted to mix it. And I really love the Lancome foundation. That is one I used to use all the time on myself on clients right now i am using the ColourPop no filter concealer yeah no filter concealer i have the color fair 04 just in case you are wondering or some other color to me Now, 
I'm going to set it. I am going to use the Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Powder and Diffuse Light. This has just been my go-to to set for under the eyes. And then I'm going to use my Clinique um, powder for the rest of my face. Just because. Why not? I need to do this around my nose as well. So, got my big powder brush and my Clinique, what is this? Almost powder makeup. Um, it's got a little bit of SPF. It's 18. It's like nothing almost. But, I'm going to use this and just lightly pat on the rest of my face. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and finish the eyeshadow. And by that, I just mean add something to the lower lash line. First go in to the color, what is it, Shady Behavior, which is that first like crease color we use. And then I use this right on the bottom. And I'm going to go into the color Ocean Drive, which is that matte teal shade again. And go in with that color right over top the neutral. That way it still has that kind of pop of color, but it looks a little bit more blended. Then I'm going to go in with the color Singled Out, which is that kind of pearl, um, like luster navy shade, just in the outer corner. I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Master Chrome highlight, actually. There we go. There we go. That's pretty. I'm going to go in for the cheek products. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of this Hoola bronzer from Benefit. It's the original one. Mm -hmm. I'm not contouring with it. It is still going to shape the face a little bit. But really, we're just kind of doing an overall bronze. Just so I look a little bit less pale. I'm going to go in with a Sephora blush. This is in the color it's 02 So Shy. Um, this was like my all-time favorite at one point. It's just a good staple, just anytime blush. But you don't want to use anything like too bright, obviously, because the eyes are bright enough. And now for the highlight, Maybelline Master Chrome. If you're looking for a good, affordable, I don't know why I said it like that, good, affordable highlight, this is a really good one. It's Maybelline, so you know it's not going to be too pricey. And it's just a really, really pretty highlight. I'm going to use my Anastasia Brow Wiz. What color is this in? Um, soft brown. I'm going to use this just to fill it in. Even though the eyes are obviously, you know, not super like natural looking, um, I still don't want the brows to be too intense. I just, I really don't like intense brows. Alright, so we're just going to take the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Love this stuff. We're just going to use this through my brows, comb them up in the front. Slick them down in the back. Oh, yeah. Cool. So, all that's left is mascara and a liner and then lips. So, I'm kind of wondering what I should do with the liner. I don't want to do anything too crazy. I really don't. Um, I'm wondering if I should do black shadow or use my liquid. Maybe I'll do my liquid. All right, so I just went ahead and did my liner off camera. I did um, tight line and waterline with my NYX. Um, what is it? It's the one with like the really, really long name. Slide on, glide on, stay on, and definitely a turn on. Waterproof, extreme shine liner. I wouldn't say it's like shine, but um, I really like this one. It lasts a good while on the waterline. And then I did just a thin line of liquid liner on the top as well. The Sephora Colorful Wink It Felt Liner. Favorite, favorite, favorite liquid liner that I have found. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my mascara. Um, I'm going to do that off camera as well, only because 
I have to have the mirror like right here. Um, but I'm going to use my Marc Jacobs Lash Primer and then my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise and Benefit Roller Lash. I don't know why I said it like that. Roller Lash Mascara. I like to combine these two mascaras. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be right back with you guys shortly. Alright guys, so mascara, liner, everything is done right now other than my lips. So I just kind of looked through all my lip products and I'm going to try, this is the lip liner um, Low Lipstick Sheer from Lancome in the color Sheer Raspberry. So I'm going to line my lips with this and then I have a mini Laura Mercier lipstick in the color Sensual which is a nude, so I just don't want anything obviously like too bright or in your face since the eyes are in your face enough. So, I need like a lip balm or something. I guess I could just put that on later. Let's do that in a little bit. But, I'm going to line my lips first, then, yeah. And I'm going to actually fill in my entire lip with this. That's usually what I do when I wear a lip liner. I don't just do the line, because then if it wears off, it wears off uneven. Okay. I actually really like this color, this sheer raspberry color. I hope it, they still sell it. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier lipstick right on top. I know what the lipstick looks like on its own, and I felt like it was just like too nude. I don't like too light of nudes um, when I wear them, so that's why I wanted the little bit darker lip liner underneath it, because I think mixed they'll look really pretty, and then I'll be happy. And so far, I'm liking it. I feel like I need like I don't know, something else, like something is missing, I don't know. Or maybe I'm just not used to this bright of eyeshadow anymore because it's been a bit since I've worn it. Maybe I need a gloss, I think, I think I need gloss. So I have my Marc Jacobs lip gloss in the color Love Buzz. I'm gonna pop a little bit of this on. I think that will maybe help. I really like Marc Jacobs lip products. If you've never tried um, any of their lip products, like you need to try. All right, I like that a lot better. All right guys, so that is the makeup completed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more and let me know down below what you guys wanna see next because I wanna make sure that I'm filming stuff that you guys actually like watching. So if there's a certain color makeup you want me to do, a certain type of video, whatever it may be, let me know and I'll make sure to do that. So thank you guys again and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.